Praise the Lord. According to one year above reading plan day 268, we have Hosea chapters 1 to 4. Hosea chapter 1. This is the message which the Lord gave Hosea, son of Beeri, during the time that Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah were kings of Judah, and Jeroboam, son of Jehoash, was king of Israel. When the Lord first spoke to Israel through Hosea, he said to Hosea, Go and get married. Your wife will be unfaithful, and your children will be just like her. In the same way, my people have left me and become unfaithful. So Hosea married a woman named Gomer, the daughter of Diblaim, after the birth of the first child, a son. The Lord said to Hosea, Name him Jezreel, because it will not be long before I punish the king of Israel for the murders that his aunt, sister Jehu, committed at Jezreel. I am going to put an end to Jehu's dynasty, and in Jezreel Valley, I will at that time destroy Israel's military power. Gomer had a second child. This time, it was a daughter. The Lord said to Hosea, Name her unloved, because I will no longer show love to the people of Israel or forgive them. But to the people of Judah I will show love. I, the Lord their God, will save them, but I will not do it by war, with love or bows or arrows or with horses and horsemen. After Goma had weaned her daughter, she became pregnant again and had another son. The Lord said to Hosea, Name him, not my people, because the people of Israel are not my people, and I am not their God. The people of Israel will become like the sand of the sea, more than to be counted or measured. Now God says to them, You are not my people, but the day is coming when he will say to them, You are the children of the living God. The people of Judah and the people of Israel will be reunited. They will choose for themselves a single leader, and once again they will grow and prosper in their land. Yes, the day of Jezreel will be a great day. Hosea chapter 2 So call your fellow Israelites, God's people, and loved by the Lord. My children, plead with your mother. Though she is no longer a wife to me, and I am no longer her husband, plead with her to stop her adultery and prostitution. If she doesn't, I will strip her naked as she was on the day she was born. I will make her like a dry and barren land, and she will die of thirst. I will not show mercy to her children. They are the children of a shameless prostitute. She herself said, I will go to my lovers. They give me food and water, wool and linen, olive oil and wine. So I am going to fence her with thorn bushes and build a wall to block her way. She will run after her lovers but will not catch them. She will look for them but will not find them. Then she will say, I am going back to my first husband. I was better off then than I am now. She would never acknowledge that I am the one who gave her the grain, the wine, the olive oil and all the silver and gold that she used in the worship of Baal. So at harvest time I will take my gifts of grain and wine and will take away the wool and linen I gave her for clothing. I will strip her naked in front of her lovers and no one will be able to save her from my power. I will put an end to all her festivities, her annual and monthly festivals and her Sabbath celebrations, all her religious meetings. I will destroy her grape wines and her fig trees, which she said her lovers gave her for serving them. I will turn her vineyards and orchards into a wilderness. Wild animals will destroy them. I will punish her for the times that she forgot me, when she burdened Sister Baal and put on her jewelry to go chasing after her lovers. The Lord has spoken, so I am going to take her into the desert again. There, I will win her back with words of love. I will give back to her the vineyards she had and make Trouble Valley a door of hope. She will respond to me there as she did when she was young, when she came from Egypt. Then once again she will call me her husband. She will no longer call me her Baal. I will never let her speak the name of Baal again. At that time I will make a covenant with all the wild animals and birds, so that they will not harm my people. I will also remove all weapons of war from the land all swords and bows, and will let my people live in peace and safety. Israel, I will make you my wife. I will be true and faithful. I will show you constant love and mercy and make you mine forever. I will keep you my promise and make you mine, and you will acknowledge me as Lord. At that time, I will answer the prayers of my people Israel. I will make rain fall on the earth, and 
The earth will produce grain and grapes and olives. I will establish my people in the land and make them prosper. I will show love to those who were called unloved and to those who were called not my people. I will say, you are my people and they will answer, you are our God. Hosea chapter 3 The Lord said to me, Go again and show your love for a woman who is committing adultery with a lover. You must love her just as I still love the people of Israel, even though they turn to other gods and like to take offerings of raisins to idols. So I paid 15 pieces of silver and 7 bushels of barley to buy her. I told her that for a long time she would have to wait for me without being a prostitute or committing adultery. And during this time I would wait for her. In just this way the people of Israel will have to wait for a long time without kings or leaders, without sacrifices or sacred stone pillars, without idols or images to use for divination. But the time will come when the people of Israel will once again turn to the Lord their God and to a descendant of David their king. Then they will fear the Lord and will receive his good gifts. Hosea chapter 4 The Lord has an accusation to bring against the people who live in this land. Listen, Israel, to what he says. There is no faithfulness or love in the land, and the people do not acknowledge me as God. They make promises and break them. They lie, murder, steal, and commit adultery. Crimes increase, and there is one murder after another. And so the land will dry up, and everything that lives on it will die. All the animals and birds, and even the fish, will die. The Lord says, Let no one accuse the people or reprimand them. My complaint is against you, priest. Night and day you blunder on, and the prophets who know better than you. I am going to destroy Israel, your mother. My people are doomed because they do not acknowledge me. You priests have refused to acknowledge me and have rejected my teaching. And so I reject you and will not acknowledge your sons as my priests. The more of you priests there are, the more you sin against me, and so I will turn your honor into disgrace. You grow rich from the sins of my people, and so... You want them to sin more and more. You will suffer from the same punishment as the people. I will punish you and make you pay for the evil you do. You will eat your share of the sacrifices but still be hungry. You will worship the fertility gods but still have no children because you have turned away from me to follow other gods, the Lord says. Wine, both old and new, is robbing my people of their senses. They ask for revelations from a piece of wood. A stick tells them what they want to know. They have left me like a woman who becomes a prostitute. They have given themselves to other gods. At sacred places on the mountain tops, they offer sacrifices and on the hills they burn incense under tall spreading trees because the shade is so pleasant. As a result, your daughters serve as prostitutes and your daughters-in-law commit adultery. Yet I will not punish them for this, because you yourselves go off with temple prostitutes, and together with them you offer pagan sacrifices. As the proverb says, a people without sense will be ruined. Even though you people of Israel are unfaithful to me, may Judah not be guilty of the same thing. Don't worship at Gilgal or Bethaven, or make promises there in the name of the living Lord. The people of Israel are as stubborn as mules. How can I feed them like lambs in a meadow? The people of Israel are under the spell of idols. Let them go their own way. After drinking much wine, they delight in their prostitution, preferring disgrace to honor. They will be carried away as by the wind, and they will be ashamed of their pagan sacrifices. May the Lord bless us abundantly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.